Alright, I think we've had enough doom and gloom from Command and Conquer, so let's take a look at something a little less apocalyptic. Music trivia! Music trivia! Da, 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 da. I'd like to introduce fellow YouTuber KeybladeWXV to help out. The vast majority of the CNC music was made by legendary composer Frank Lepaki, who has composed tracks for 13 of the 18 games and expansions on PC. It's a shame then when only 8 of the 20 tracks in the Ultimate Collection soundtrack album are Frank's. That's not to say the album's bad. I mean, who could forget the Amazing General's main theme? Tiberium Wars' ominous main menu theme Black Dawn, which I might add is incredibly faithful to the original Command and Conquer. And of course, Soviet March. Several tracks, particularly from the earlier games, have multiple names from different official sources, such as We Will Stop Them Slash Deception, we will stop them now. Target Slash Mechanical Man, I'm a mechanical man. Warfare Slash Full Stop, In Trouble slash Looks Like Trouble. Canyon Chase slash Industrial 2. And Take Em Out slash Just Do It Up 2, all from Tiberian Dawn alone. These names come from the conquer.eng file, which holds the in-game names, the official soundtrack CD, and from Frank Lepaki's website Jukebox, but I wouldn't call any of these sources infallible. The in-game names usually use a shorthand, particularly with the Counter-Strike and Aftermath tracks, and the infamous Hellmarch 2. The soundtrack CD names are usually on point, but of note is Face the Enemy, from the Red Alert soundtrack. This track is actually Face the Enemy 2, Looking at the files in scores.mix, we have two separate tracks called FAC1226M.ord and FAC2226M.ord. Face the enemy 1 and 2. So why does the soundtrack change the names? Well, the soundtracks don't include every track in the games, and since the Red Alert soundtrack only includes Face the Enemy 2, it could be confusing to call it two without also including one, so it was renamed to avoid confusion, which is where the confusion stems from. As for Frank's jukebox, all the tracks from the CDs have the same names. This adds to the issue, with Face the Enemy 2 still called Face the Enemy, and Face the Enemy 1 now called Face the Enemy 2. You with me so far? The tracks missing from the CD are given their proper names on Frank's site, notably the Counter-Strike and Aftermath tracks, which for some reason were given completely different names in Retaliation, a PlayStation port of the expansions, such as Running Through Pipes being renamed to Tanks Legion. These new names don't sound very Klopaki, so my best guess is they were made up by the PlayStation dev team. Voice Rhythm 2 from Counter-Strike actually has an audio glitch near the end that's made its way into the game. A fixed version exists on Frank's site. The soundtrack from the special edition in Germany included a second CD of commercial music, featuring a lyricised remix of Crush by Cobalt 60.
speaking of commercial music, it's well known that the nod credits theme in Tib Dawn was Destructible Times, by the short-lived band I Am, for which Frank was the drummer. Frank has done his own spin on a few songs, including a remix of Nine Inch Nails' Only, available on his site Jukebox. But of note is a remix of Why by Bent Valve, in a style of Red Alert track Mud. And I can take you inside, and show you my life, and make you feel broken. I actually can't find any information about this band at all, other than an empty, unofficial Facebook page with two likes. The band was likely a local band, or had members known personally by Frank, as the two are both Las Vegas based. As thanks of being amongst the first 200 people to play Tiberian Sun in Germany, before the game's official release, the music video and single artwork of Leipzig based Think About Mutations cover of Two Tribes features heavy references to Tiberian Sun. Unfortunately, we can't play it here, but a link is in the description below. Going back to running through pipes, the file name is mm2.org. Presumably, the track's original name is Mechanical Man 2, given that it heavily references Mechanical Man near the end of the track. I am a mechanical man. The track itself is called Mech Man 2 in-game, but all the Counter-Strike and Aftermath in-game names are shorthand sourced from the file's original names. The track received a more direct remake for Renegade, called Mechanical Man's Revenge. The vast majority of Renegade's soundtrack is much like the game, an homage to the first Command and Conquer. Outside of the more obvious remixes, several of Renegade's tracks have more oblique references. For instance, the excellent track Command and Conquer sources its main theme from CNC 80's mix. Industrial Ambience is a pretty extreme remix, turning the heavy industrial into a very restrained ambient track. Sniper uses the same bass riff as on the Prowl. Sakura Showdown also starts with a heavier rendition of on the Prowl. Got a present for you is named after and samples a line said by the commando, who was also voiced by Frank Lepaki. I've got a present for you. In Renegade, you play as Nick Havoc Parker, who is based on the commando unit. The intro theme, Renegade Jungle, is inspired by In Trouble. It uses a similar repeating beat 
and the iconic guitar chord. One of Renegade's tracks, Defunct, was also included in Frank's first solo album, Morphscape. Released in 2002, the same year as Renegade, it's unclear to me whether Defunct was originally made for Renegade, or if it was a solo song that fit the game. Dogfight starts with a section from Full Stop, then the iconic No Mercy. Speaking of which, several tracks of Tiberian Dawn contain traces of voice samples throughout. No Mercy, for example, uses quotes from Bill and Ted Bogus's journey, although none of these samples are taken directly. Instead, they were re-recorded by Westwood. The examples were removed from the in-game tracks, as they interfered with the in-game unit dialogue, but the original tracks were kept intact for the soundtrack. Curiously, a few of these tracks have altered versions in the game files but use different samples, such as Looks Like Trouble, and a version of Enemies to be Feared that have voices. Uh, it's not good. It doesn't look good. I'm losing control. I can't, I can't control it. Uh, it's not good. It, it doesn't look good. I'm losing control. I can't, I can't control it. They are enemies to be feared. Unlike the CD version, however, this version of To Be Feared is also much shorter. You could hear outtakes from several desample recordings in the Command & Conquer Outtakes credits theme on Frank's site. Just do it up. Every encounter is going to be much more difficult. Repeat. Every encounter is going to be that much more difficult. Y'all some. And you, Larry, I saw you what you did when you dropped yourself the other day. You're going to go on report. The theme itself is a remix of Just Do It Up, Mechanical Man, Actor Instinct, and CNC Thang. In addition, there were also a few lost tracks in the early games. A track named Heartbreak exists in the files for Tib Dawn. Tracks called Die and Reaching Out can also be found on Frank's site. Dai supposedly also had screaming voice samples in an early version, but even without them, the track style proved too heavy for the game, so it was cut. A cover of Ride of the Valkyries is included in the files, originally used as a music placeholder. Red Alerts has a few lost tracks as well. According to Neergoods, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, excuse me. The track Journey was added to Frank's site under the Red Alert category at some point, but it seems to have been removed, so we can assume it was cut from Red Alert. It's a shame, because it's a really brilliant atmospheric track.
Await is an interesting case. The file await underscore r dot ord, presumably the r is shorthand for remix or remake, as the music can be updated during production, was included in the Red Alert files, but never plays in the game. The same file appears again in the expansion packs, this time just as await.ord, but still doesn't play in-game. I've seen references to a lost track called Afterlife, with theories that this was one of the two await files, and as such await is sometimes called Afterlife by fans. In order to clarify, Slavic CC emailed Frank Lepaki, who confirms that await and Afterlife are two separate tracks, but that he cannot find the master tapes. To my knowledge, no copy of Afterlife exists in the game files or on the internet. Inspired by the Walker units, the Wolverines and Titans, Frank wrote a heavier track called Stomp for Tiberian Sun. Despite appearing in promotional material for the game, it was cut, as the game designers were leaning towards a more atmospheric, post-apocalyptic setting for the game. Stomp was later included in Renegade, and a short snippet was still used in a Tibson cutscene. Frank enlisted the help of Jared Mendelssohn for Tib Sun, with whom he had played live shows in different bands. Jared had a more electronic style, quite befitting Tib Sun. One of Jared's tracks was called Gloom, the only example I can find in CNC history where two tracks share the exact same name, as an earlier track from the Aftermath was also called Gloom. I've seen Jared's track called Gloom 2, but the only official source to corroborate this is a retrospective blog post by Frank. Another track, Storm Coming, is called Ion Storm in game. My best guess is that since the file is called storm.ord, the programmers may have gotten it confused with ionstorm.ord, an ambient track that plays during ion storms. Frank's site lists it as Storm Coming, so I'll take that as the true name. Cabal's theme in Firestorm, Slave to the System, reuses a riff from Radio 2 Remix. It also has what could be the same robotic Red Alert voice sample, though it's difficult to tell.
Tibson's music includes a few subtle references to the first Scene C score, though there are a few outright remixes. Time Bomb has short snippets of Industrial. The classic Act on Instinct appears briefly in Hacker, albeit heavily distorted. The only outright remix is Rain in the Night Part 2 from Firestorm. Interestingly, the in-game name uses Part 2 as opposed to just the standard 2 as seen on the site. Since it seems oddly specific, I'll take it as intentional. The Tiberian Sun cutscenes also contain a few references. No Mercy, for example, appears frequently throughout the Nod campaign. Nice work. Take Amethyst Slavic, bring it to its knees. You will find in your control three ICBM launching platforms. You must get them to their assigned points inside the base. GDI's Philadelphia Space. The Tip Dawn track Airstrike, which predominantly features the theme from No Mercy, was used as the credits theme for the GDI campaign. The guitar riff is used as the GDI theme in the Tiberian Sun cutscenes, though it's relatively subtle. No Mercy is actually the most repeated theme in all of Command & Conquer. It's been remixed in No Mercy 98, in Soul Survivor, and Retaliation. and a Surf No Mercy, featured in the It Came From Red Alert mini-campaign. It also appears as we've seen in Dogfight, the credit stream for Red Alert, and at the end of Hellmarch 2 and Hellmarch 3. Soul Survivor in Retaliation featured several remakes of the Red Alert tracks. These tracks, at least in the CD quality versions, included with Soul Survivor, used several sound bites in the Red Alert cutscenes, such as a quote from Allied Supreme Commander Gunther von Essling, Give Him Hell, used in the Hellmarch remix. Everything scorched earth. Give him hell, boys. Dismissed. Ah! I'm afraid the effects are quite permanent. 
This track was used as a basis for Hell March 2, making Remix a midstep in between. An early version of Hell March 2 is included in the Red Alert 2 files called intro.org. This version retains the Give Him Hell quote from the Hell March remix. In similar fashion, the track Grinder includes a sample that was also used in the Red Alert cutscene. The sample was used again in Grinder 2, meaning we've heard this voice clip in all three Red Alert games. Einstein is gone, Conrad. Although there are fewer references in the Red Alert 2 soundtrack, it is interesting to note that the soundtrack CD includes Red the Army, Command and Conquer in the House, and Probing, which are not playing at all in game. Famously, the tracks Brain Freeze and Drop from Yuri's Revenge use actual samples from the 1957 sci-fi film The Brain from Planet Arouse, which are available from sound libraries. Deceiver from Yuri's Revenge includes a section of CNC Fang. Before we move on from Westwood, Jared Mendelssohn was brought back along with Frank Lepaki to join David Arkenstone to score each of the three houses for Emperor Battle for Dune. Frank scored House of Atreides, and there are loads of subtle references to Dune 2 throughout his score, same as with Dune 2000, but we're looking at scene C here. In the Jared track Not an Option for House Ordos, he uses an electronic effect that Frank also used in Smash from Red Alert. It's likely they both incidentally found it in a sound library. So not really a reference as such, but still a bit of trivia. When EA Pacific, formerly known as Westwood Pacific, took over with Command & Conquer Generals, Frank Apaki actually submitted a demo track, which is available on his website. It's really quite fitting. However, the developers instead went with Bill Brown and Mikhail Sangren. In many ways, Journals breaks away from the core series of Command & Conquer, as well as the Red Alert series, seeing how Red Alert was originally intended to be a sort of prequel for the original Command & Conquer. We can therefore posit that perhaps EA Pacific decided to hire new composers in order to give the new soundtrack a different feel. I can't deny that I've been eager to hear more of Frank Lepaki's work. However, it seems EA Pacific wanted to avoid the possibility of confusing his identity with his older siblings, so as to make the Generals universe stand out as its own thing. Mikhail Sangrich's work on Generals presented him with the opportunity to compose a few tracks for Command & Conquer 3 and Red Alert 3, for he doesn't always get credit. The Red Alert 3 credits theme, for example, helpfully named Red Alert 3 Credits, is credited to Mikhail in the digital soundtrack, but on the CD, it was credited to Timothy Wynn. To my knowledge, the Command & Conquer 3 soundtrack has never been credited on a per-track basis. As Frank was unavailable for Command & Conquer 3, Steve Jablonski and Trevor Morris instead composed the soundtrack. However, the GTA intro cutscene includes parts of the Tiberian Sun track Approach, and the Renegade track Got a Present For You in the background. 
Philadelphia uplink successful. Welcome back, Commander. Today's threat level is low. The state of the planet is deteriorating. Tiberium infestation has reached critical levels. Red zones have suffered the worst contamination and cannot support human life. Yellow zones are dangerously contaminated, but contain most of the world's population. The Brotherhood of Nod operates virtually unchallenged in these zones. They take advantage of the chaos to recruit members and disguise their military infrastructure. Nod's leader is a charismatic figure we know only as Cain. Kane is determined to accelerate the spread of Tiberium, believing it is the catalyst for the next stage of human evolution. However, in recent years, the Brotherhood has been suspiciously quiet, with little terrorist activity. The remainder of the Earth's surface is unscarred by Tiberium outbreak. These blue zones are considered the last refuge and hope of the civilized world, and are under the protection of the Global Defense Initiative. You have been assigned command of the GDI forces stationed on the eastern seaboard of the United States. Good luck, Commander. A track Trevor Morris made for Kane's Wrath was unofficially dubbed Mechanical Mine. We've no idea where this name originally derives from, but it sounds a lot cooler than the official name, which just turned out to be Kane's Wrath. With the 2008 remix of Act on Instinct, this means that of the games included in the Ultimate Collection, every Command & Conquer game includes some reference to the music from the original Command & Conquer, with the exception of Generals and the one we don't talk about. I think we can all agree said game was a complete and colossal classified on every fundamental level. But I can't deny there were at least some decent tracks in there. James Hannigan and Timothy Wynn, who are largely responsible for composing the Red Alert 3 soundtracks, were brought back to compose the score, with the intent of making the game a much more cinematic experience of epic proportions. They failed. Whilst James Hadigan's score was arguably the most compelling with emotional tracks such as Love and Death, To Save Humanity, and Welcome Back Commander, Timothy Wynn's score largely represented the Brotherhood soundtrack for the use of a sort of religious choir. Personally, I don't think this fits very well with the Nod theme, as it's simply way too flamboyant. Compare this to the Brotherhood's prior themes, No Mercy and Nod Crush. Furthermore, you may recognise Jason Grace for his work in composing the score for Until Dawn. His music is largely designed to incite tension and fear due to his history of composing for horror-themed games. I can only surmise his tracks, notably Cold Heart Truth and Entanglement, were designed for portraying the harsh environments of the Red Zones, with connotations to the brutal and painful lives the Forgotten Faction lives in. Frank would later return to make three tracks for Red Alert 3, and yet another three for his expansion Uprising.
of a Soviet super weapon theme, Nuclear Death, was originally called the Red Menace in the soundtrack. It's not as cool a name, but the name change may have been because nuclear weapons no longer exist in Red Alert 3. Still, what other game lets you build what is essentially a giant vacuum cleaner as a weapon? The Soviets had a nuke as their super weapon in the previous games, so it probably seemed like a safe bet to use that name instead. There are actually two versions of the Red Alert 3 soundtrack, one of which was included on the physical CDs, which had annoying clicks at the start and end of every track, and the one available digitally. The digital album mixes several of the physical album's tracks down into one larger track. For instance, Red Rock from Mother Russia is a medley of from Mother Russia, Russia Retreat, and Red Rock. It also includes a hell of a fret, an atmospheric track which, as its name suggests, includes a snippet of Hell March. Speaking of Hell March, Shall we talk about what that guy is saying? The prevailing fan theory is that it's a German phrase, Die Waffen legt an, roughly, ready the weapons. However, let's have a listen to the original sound sample. I found two samples from stockmusic.com that appear to have been taken from the same archive recording, depicting a drill sergeant commanding a platoon. Apologies if my military vernacular is lacking. It's mostly incomprehensible yelling. This particular bit is also used in Red Alert 3. However, this part sounds to me like English, with a North American R syllable. Overall, it sounds like it could be English, or at least it doesn't sound German. My best guess for this part is on the centre turn, but I can't be certain. I searched through a few drill command PDFs. British, German, American, and Canadian armed forces, but just about anything I think I can discern comes up blank. So what could Hellguy actually be saying? If it's English, the latter part is most likely Quick March, but what about the first bit? Best I can tell, it could be B Squadron, or some similar squadron label, or possibly Reform Line. I could find Reform Line Remainder Quick March in a Canadian Forces Manual of Drill and Ceremonial. It's possible the Remainder part was omitted in this instance, or that the recording and manual are anachronistic. Maybe Hellguy is Canadian? It's certainly not conclusive. I can't find anything to match the turn line from the Canadian manual. What do you reckon? Anyone with military experience able to chip in? Well then, Hellguy doesn't shout in German. Well, not originally, not in the original context of the recording. Thing is, language is about communication. What is being communicated in the context of the music, in the context of the composition? From Hellmarch 2 onwards, Hellguy has been slowed down to fit the tempo, and you certainly wouldn't request a quick march at that speed. In the context of Hellmarch, it would make sense to request that one's weapons were to be readied, so I'd say the intent is up to Frank. As far as the original recording is concerned, I'm not sure. It sounds more English than German to me, but it's still too incomprehensible. 
I like to think it's Canadian, possibly Reform Line Quick March, but, well, we just don't know. But as used in Hellmarch, if you want to believe Hellguy is saying Divarf and Lexan, then that's how you interpret it. It's probably not what the drill sergeant in the archive recording intended when he said whatever he said, but that's what it has come to mean, and that's enough for me. Obviously, there's way more to be said about CNC, but we've tried to cover the more obscure stuff. I'm enjoying making these long form scripted videos, so if you enjoy watching them, I'll keep making them. Oh, but Stefan, we can't leave it there. Don't you want to discuss the Command and Conquer Rivals soundtrack? Command and Conquer for a new generation. And mute. Alright, huge thanks to Matt for his help. Go check out his channel, Keyblade WXV. He produces reviews covering the Kingdom Hearts series and Command and Conquer, as well as live streams and voice acted segments. Great guy. My name is Stefan. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs>